index card today is a 61 day challenge. The idea is to create something on an index card every day for 61 days. We start June 1 and we go through July 31. I thought I might share with you some of the index cards that I have in my collection. The thing is that um, I've actually given away um, probably over half of my cards over the years, um, I send them off in I send them off in swaps, and when someone buys um, art journal prompt cards or a print or something, then I often will send off an index card. But then these are these are the the ones that I have left. So some of these are just real special to me, or I just haven't haven't um, organized them quite quite well. So um, each year I do uh, a few cards to kind of make my graphic for the challenge. Um, this was the first year I wrote this sort of like motivational cards card. Jump in, the water is fine. So the idea behind the challenge is all you need to do is start with an index card, just a simple index card. These are all three by five. I work with three by fives. Um, you can go up to four by six and still be in the challenge and you do need to use an actual index card and that's part of the challenge because index cards are not perfect they are um, they're not the perfect substrate they don't take every single medium and they're, they're just not perfect but that is part of the challenge because they're inexpensive they're easy to find and they're abundant so you can have a huge stack of index cards and just pull one off of your stack draw, write, paint cut the card up, weave it back together, sew it, um, poke holes in it, fold it into a box. You can, you can really do whatever you want with that index card and uh, just do one thing a day with an index card and that's your challenge for the day. And it seems really, really, really simple and I think that's the key. It is really, really simple. But what happens is after you, after you start making index cards, this is a collage, if you start making index cards, it gets easier. And so a lot of people, a lot of people complain that oh they don't know what to do in their journal or they don't know um, they don't know what to do on the blank page. And I think a lot of that is just fear, fear of ruining your beautiful journal, fear of your wasting your um, art materials. These are like little tests I did with ink. And I put the type of ink on here, and then I did sort of different types of lines. But um, folks are, are they're nervous about wasting their art materials. They're nervous about uh, creating something that won't be like they imagined or that won't be perfect. And I think an index card just takes all that pressure off because um, it's certainly not. See, I don't. Even, I didn't even cut the strings off here. Um, they're not really intended to be perfect. Um, this is in Neo Colors. Uh, this is a contraption I drew with the uh, jelly rolls. This is just paint, one of those little paint, paint stick things. I forget what they're called, but anyway, they push paint, paint pushers, whatever. They push paint around. That's acrylics. Um, I think all the pressure's off when you're using something so simple and so inexpensive. Um, so anyway, uh, a lot of folks have 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 said that. Such a very simple challenge has actually changed their entire um, approach to creativity, and it brought creativity into their into their days in a way that um, had never happened before. So, I um, just wanted to kind of put my little plug in here for Index Card a Day. It's a free challenge, and each day during the challenge, I post an index card of my own art, and then there's just all sorts of things going on as far as um, inspiration and um, creative sparks and prompts and all kinds of stuff going on. But really, it gets down when it gets down to it, you're just going to create something on an index card every day. I think this was actually this was actually from the very first summer. I got a lot into like, patterns. This is jelly rolls and. Um, This is a white, um, white rapidograph, white ink on acrylics. 
Let's see. All right. Um, this is watercolor background. Sometimes I don't like watercolor all that much on index cards, but I do use it. This is um, this was actually like for excess ink or excess stamping. Uh, I was stamping, I think, with acrylics. Anyway, so I thought it looked pretty cool. I kept it. Chandelier. This I stitched the card and I wrote stuff on it. And then um, there's a bunch of mandalas from the first year. I did a lot of little mini mand mandalas. And let's see. As you can see, lots of mandalas from year one. I like a lot of these designs. So this is, um, we were actually playing Clue. See, and I are actually looking at this. I remember when we did this. I remember playing Clue with the family, and so I wrote the names of the rooms all around, and then I drew a Clue mandala. So you can do that too. You could just, you know, since you know you want to do an index card each day, you can have an index card, some index cards in your backpack or purse or car, or maybe at the table or in the kitchen counter, and then um, when you have time, just, um, you know, draw or write or do something. So um, this one I was, one summer I um, got into, uh, like I had this quilting pattern book and I don't, I don't really quilt but I like the patterns and so I was drawing. The book was called um, 50, no, 5,500 quilt block patterns by Malone. And so I was, I drew these grids and then I tried to replicate the quilting patterns. And sometimes I might just do um, tests, like this is a, this is a neo color, color um, test, and this is fluid acrylics, and um, I think where I drew with my left hand, I tried to do squares with my left hand, I'm right handed, so that didn't work out so well, um, weaving, um, this is one of my favorite cards, just really simple grid, and then as part of running the challenge, I do, I do some cards that, um, I do some cards that are kind of like part of the challenge itself, like the structure of the challenge. So I'll do like ideas, like a themed series, um, test your color pa palettes, uh, write down quotes or lyrics, draw mazes or doodles, your to-do list, recipes, etc. Um, let's see, made up one. Yeah, this was, these are just lists of stuff I want to do, but I did it with alphabet stamps, so that takes a, a while to do, and you can really think about it in the process. This one, um, I bought some stamps, some postage stamps online, some old ones, and then I just made, I used them as the focal point for those guys. Um, more uh, Corinne-Neo colors, Neo colors, Neo colors, some weird stuff with, textures, acrylics. Um, then I did some drawing, really detailed drawing work. Um, more textures with acrylics is sort of playing with the way that you can use the levels of paint to create texture. This is, um, this is kind of a leftovers from other projects. I just wiped off the brush stuff. This is my doodle certification. If you don't have one and you are a doodler, you should make yourself a doodle certification. And <laughs> more leftovers. Uh, we were playing Clue again. So I made a kernel mustard in the ballroom with lead pipe. This is stitching. I did a bunch of stuff with like drawing really, 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 really tiny, tiny lines. And this is watercolor. Um, these are um, these are like index card dividers that they have at some office office supply stores. They don't have them everywhere, but if you find them, they're fun. Um, this is a collage, and the idea for this one, this actually was um, I think there was an article about this in one of the zines. But this is like I tried to include as many mediums as I possibly could. Um, there's even like an embroidery stitch over here, um, and a different stitch over here. So I tried to use a lot of different um, mediums. This um, I was trying to 
make a curtain. I don't know if that was successful. This is one of my favorite cards. I just like the whole scrapey paint thing. And then also, uh, if you're if you're doing the challenge um, for July 4th, uh, my daughters and I always do special cards for 4th of July, Independence Day in the U.S. And so this is one of those 4th of July cards. And this uh, is like watercolors tr trying to represent the seasons. Um, this is a just playing with acrylic paints, stitching paints, um, and then I got this stamp with my name in Chinese characters. I got that last year in um, Chinatown in San Francisco. And then this is like, um, these are acrylics um, on fabric. I thought it would look really cool. And then this one, let's see, I cut out. It looks kind of spooky, actually. I don't know if I like that one. Uh, fabric, collage, um, kind of dripping, playing with drips. These are uh, these are um, airbrush acrylics. Now, now they're called high flow. And then stitching um, girls. This is actually two index cards so that it wouldn't fall apart. Um, when you go to a national park, you can stamp. They have, usually have stamps there. That's always fun. So keep some index cards with you when you go on vacation. And so you can stamp stuff. Playing with drips and mandalas. This is one of my favorites also. Um, these are jelly rolls. This is my stamp from Chinatown, San Francisco. And another stamp. Playing with uh, maps. This is one of my, I love also this card. Uh, I like this challenge of drawing paisleys. Um, I had a problem where I just, I couldn't seem to draw paisley, and so I decided I would just draw paisleys until I felt comfortable drawing them, and so that was my paisley phase. And then this is like little doodles, like jewelry or falling from the sky or like fringe. So I'm playing with little patterns that, I tried to imagine them falling from there. This is from a, this is from a photograph. And these I actually remember doing when we were in um, San Francisco. These were inspired by different things that I saw at Disneyland. Um, there's a ride with like little, like really, I, I don't remember what, what it was called, but anyway, there's a ride and this, this is what the top of the ride kind of gave me the idea for. Um, repeating patterns, mandalas. This, this was um, also from a ride. I think this was at Disney's California Adventure. And uh, this was drawn at Muir Woods. Actually, um, while the rest of the family was in the gift shop, I, I sat on a bench because I wanted to have something from, to remember that trip. This I remember drawing as we were waiting in the hotel lobby. This was drawn at the hotel. So these, this whole set was a, a vac sort of vacation set. Oh, flowers. Oh, this was um, inspired by a fabric, I believe. Flowers. Flowers. This was inspired by um, a Japanese, um, I think it was probably Katazomi paper. Um, had a, this really funky pattern. This is um, fluid acrylics, just sort of playing with the brush. And that is just a little bit of a peek into my index card stash and um, I hope that you consider playing along with index card day this year.